Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Holly. I'm your internet dental hygienist. Today we're gonna to be going over 10 ways how to modify your toothbrush at home in case you have arthritis, mobility issues, or limited range of motion. The things I'm gonna be going over are how to modify your toothbrush with things that you have just lying around your home. Hey Marks coming to join us today. <laughs> so a really in inexpensive, cheap way to make brushing easier at home if you can't grip the handle well is to just use a bunch of elastics. So you probably have these hanging out in your closet or in a box somewhere at home. So you just want to take them and you want to kind of put them over your palm, over your hands, and leave your thumb free. So you just want to move them around like that and then you want to take your brush and then you're going to just slide it right in between the elastics in the hand and the palm sorry just like that I have a little cat friend here so then you can take that you don't even have to hold on to the bristles at all and you can just move your arm and your shoulder back and forth to when you're brushing your teeth. And the great thing about this way is that you can even like flip the toothbrush like that so you can get the other side so you don't have to completely kind of move your arm. Like my shoulder just cracked. <laughs> so the second way, it might seem a little bit ridiculous, but I'm gonna get my pool noodle here that I have. So you're going to use one of these in order to make your toothbrush handle really, really wide, okay? So I'm gonna get a cutting board, a sharp bread knife, and I have my pool noodle. So I'm just gonna slip over to the other camera and show you up close how to do this. So what I usually tell people to do is just to measure the um, length of the handle of the toothbrush, and that's about how long you want the pool noodle to be. So I'm just gonna kind of put my finger there, mark the spot, and then I'm gonna take the bread knife and just literally chop it through it. So this pool noodle has a wider circle, so the toothbrush will just slide right through, and that's not good. So at this point, I just take some handy dandy duct tape I'm just going to cut off a piece of it here. Not that big. So this is just going to go on the bottom. Oh my god, I can't even cut. I'm just going to rip that. There we go. Okay. So then this is going to go on the bottom of here so the toothbrush doesn't fall through okay there we go perfect sometimes it can fall out that's why you might want to put a little bit of tape at the top but other than that you're okay if this is too big for you and you want something that's a little bit smaller the perfect thing to use is just those foam um, hair rollers so I'm gonna show you here. So you're just gonna take one of these, you're gonna pop this little hard plastic bit out, and then I'm gonna take this out of the pool noodle, and then this is just gonna go straight in here. You might need a little bit of help on this one, or you rip it. It depends how thick your toothbrush is. There we go. <laughs> that works. You might wanna put a couple on there, Get another one here. Okay, you definitely might need someone to help you with this if you do have limited dexterity, but there we go. If you don't have a pool noodle and you don't have any foam hair rollers, but you have a sponge at home, okay, you can just use this. I took a skewer and I just went right through um, the sponge like that, just kind of kept going until the hole was big enough. And then this just goes right into there like that. It's beautiful. <laughs> it does provide a really wide grip, so you can grip it like that, and then you can go ahead and brush your teeth just like that. 
So the next tip that I give people is just to go to their dollar store or Walmart and um, you know the tennis balls that kids put on their chairs at school? They already come with a, with a kind of a cross cut in between. So here's the tennis ball, here's the toothbrush, and you just want to put the toothbrush right in the center of the tennis ball like that. And it's a really, really nice grip. So if you don't have any tennis balls or you can't find some, at the dollar store they have a whole bunch of, um, what do you call it, stress reliever balls, stress balls. So I got this one. Yeah, I just took a skewer, I'm just like that. And you can take your toothbrush and force it, force it through, twist it a bit, as gross as it is they actually work really, really well because they have these little ridges that are pretty much perfect for people's thumbs and fingers to grip onto the stress ball. Another ball type uh, modification you can use is just a dog toy, dog toy or a cat toy. I forgot to take out the little treats for Miss Margot. So you can take your uh, toothbrush and put it right through the hole like that. This is similar to the pool noodle. You might need to tape the end just so the brush doesn't go all the way through. This one is heavier though, so it depends on the strength of your arm. It might not be that great to use, but you can try it out. The next way to adapt your toothbrush handle is to tape around it. I found this uh, tennis racket tape which is really nice, has great grip. I found that this worked really, really well. So I usually start at the bottom of the toothbrush, just get it started. You can add as much as you want to make it as thick as you want. And there you go. And it's really cushy. It's really soft to the hands and you'll be able to rinse that off really nicely. Another great thing that I found at the dollar store were these bicycle handle grips. This is perfect. It's made for a hand and you can just take your toothbrush and stick it in there. You might have to tape the top up there. So on these grips, there's uh, places for your fingers already. So you want to angle the bristles towards your thumb, just like that. So I'm going to tape this into place. There's just these handle marks here for your fingers. So you can just match your fingers up to that and your thumb goes to the top. And then you've got a really nice grip to brush your teeth. Another way to thicken your brush handle is to just grab a regular dish towel and wrap it around the handle of the toothbrush and just secure it in place with some elastics. The really great thing about using the towel and the elastics is that you can take it off after it gets really dirty and just run it through the wash and then you can get a fresh one. Another way to thicken your toothbrush handle is to just use good old fashioned aluminum foil. Okay, so you're gonna take a pretty large piece. I'm gonna take about that much. I am going to fold it in half. Okay, and fold it again, all right. And then you wanna take your uh, toothbrush and just, um, you can either wrap it like we did the towel or you can just put it straight kind of into the folded tin foil and just kind of scrunch up around the toothbrush like that. This is nice because it's moldable. So some people with really bad arthritis, their fingers, um, might be thicker in some areas, which can be very uncomfortable, but you can kind of mold in finger joints 
finger placements just like that. And you can do it as thick as you want. Here is our garden tie toothbrush. So I had a whole bunch of this stuff left over from gardening in the summer. So when I was thinking of ways to thicken a toothbrush handle, this came to mind, but it is great because it has um, like a metal wire in between. So you can mold it to whatever shape you want. And just make sure there's no little piece of metal that's sticking out there that could hurt your hand. But this is really good. It's a really, really thick handle. Yeah, that's another way. So another way to adapt your toothbrush to make a bigger handle is to use hot glue. And you just want to start around where the normal handle is. while to do depending on how thick you want the plastic to be and the reason why I like this way even though it's a bit more time-consuming is that it's easier to clean and you can make it whatever shape you want much glue as you want in all the different areas if you want it thicker at the bottom you can or you can make it thicker at the top whatever is easier for you so there you go okay, so I'm just running the toothbrush handle under hot water so you want to let it run for about a minute or two depends on how hot your water is just be careful not to burn yourself so you want to bend it as much as you can so it's at a different angle. You might have to test with your arm and how you can move it before you um, bend it under the water just so you know what angle you want it. I really hope the information in this video has helped you modify your toothbrush to make brushing easier. Hope you have a great day.